Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com and today we're going to talk about having repeated objects around your scene and how to get them there quickly. And the way we're going to do this is approaching it with our free transform shortcuts that you remember from the last video, which means I can make it wider or taller without moving it in space. And that's really the key of this whole operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy and you'll notice that these are smart objects. I went ahead and prepared this ahead of time, but it has to be a smart object for this process to work correctly. So generally the first move I make is to just get the scale more close to what I want. And then I'll be using the control key to skew it. And then once I get close, that is when I'm gonna zoom in and use the alt and drag to get my proportions correct. And if I don't get it right in the first time, it's fine. Because I can always just adjust it later, no problem. So what I'm going to do now is just click and drag to make a second copy. And this is where the time savings really start to come into play. Because I already got it close. This one is, you know, pretty spatially similar to my first one. I just need to tweak it a little bit. And then I keep working my way around the room. Now, of course, you have to understand perspective. This keyboard shortcut is not going to solve all of your problems. But if you do understand perspective, it's these hidden commands that just make your job so much easier. Because traditionally, the way I would have approached this would be to start with that single master and then do my free transforming separately each time. And so I wouldn't really get to benefit from the fact that all of these are really pretty similar to each other with just minor changes. But because they're smart objects, it is very easy. And these keyboard shortcuts really just take time to master. But once they become muscle memory, it is awesome. It really, in my opinion, allows you to just work creatively. Because yes, this does seem technical, but in practical application, it's not. What this allows me to do is just forget about all the technical stuff. Getting used to the way that these keyboard shortcuts respond just means that I can get my ideas down on the page more quickly. And then before you know it, you're done. You know, this is a maybe five minute process to get what is kind of a nightmarish perspective working pretty quickly. Now, the really nice side effect of all this is you're working with smart objects and smart objects are linked instances, which means I can click on any of these individual thumbnails here and I open up a document. Now, this document is essentially where all these clones come from. So if I want to make some major design change, they're all going to update. So maybe I want more of this element down here at the bottom. Maybe I decide I want to make it a little more detailed and do something fancy like this. So normally to make this sort of a change in a perspective drawing would be just insane. But here all I have to do is hit save and then I go back into my image and they all are updated. So this is clearly a very powerful technique. Now, you do not need to do smart object design changes at the last second like I did here. That's really just to sort of show off what is happening under the hood. If for no other reason, just being able to free transform with more control, this is very powerful. But there's really nothing stopping you from working in sort of a nonlinear way. Maybe you know you want windows in your scene and you want a bunch of them. So you just make a placeholder and then free transform that around your scene, make a bunch of smart object copies. And then at the very end, you just open up the actual document, paint your one final nice window, hit save, and then all of your placeholders just bam, like magic, become the final deal. So I encourage you to have fun with this, but at a bare minimum, get used to the keyboard shortcuts. Those modifiers make free transform a lot more powerful. Have fun painting, and thanks for coming to the site, guys.